Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I am taking some advice from you guys. I got a comment on my uh, Menominee ice fishing video that said I should make some homemade tip downs with some PVC pipe and some uh, schoolie rods. I don't know how to pronounce them, but those rods. And uh, right now I'm at the old fleet farm <laughs> in the parking lot, gonna go buy some supplies and make one of those tip downs. So if you wanna know how to make a tip down, <laughs> stay around cause uh, I'm gonna do it. Let's go get some stuff. Well, uh, Fleet Farm only had a fishing pole. No PVC pipe there. So uh, hop, skip, and a jump over to the old Home Depot. Hey guys. Yesterday took way too long to get the shopping done, but we're here today to make this tip down. Um, I'm in my downstairs living room shop because it's three degrees outside. I don't have a heated garage, so it's too cold. But I've got all my supplies here. I've brought a sawzall inside and hopefully just cut them up and assemble it and make this tip down. So let's get building. <clears throat> all right, to start off, we're gonna build the base. Now I bought these here pre-cut to two feet. So we're just gonna leave this one and this one to two feet. And then these bottom ones, we're going to cut 14 inches in here and 14 inches in from there. So just gonna mark, mark 14 inches on that one. And then mark 14 inches on this one. And I'm gonna go cut them and be right back. So here they are, two 14 inch pieces of PVC pipe. And now we're going to take four elbows and uh, make it a rectangle. Here we go. We have a rectangle. This is going to be our base that sits here. And then we're gonna make a cross section here, go up and yes. This is just for visualization. Now I need to cut these in half so then I can put a T joint there and then I can put one that goes across the middle. All right, just like that, cut with a T joint in the middle. Now I'm going to use the scraps from before, <laughs> these two, and I'm gonna have to measure and cut them so then they go across and then have another T joint in the middle that goes up. All right, <clears throat> I got them both cut. Let's uh, here's to hoping it fits. Alrighty, well, here it is. This bar is in the middle. Now, if you haven't visualized it yet, we're gonna have one sticking up here like this. <laughs> and then on top of here is where we're gonna make the mount for the fishing pole. All right, so this is the piece that's gonna go in here and stick straight up. But first I need to cut seven inches off of this because I'm gonna need it for the mount. Um, you'll see later, but that's why I kept this spare piece and this spare piece, because I need them to help construct the mount that is gonna be holding the fishing pole. So now this piece is cut. Time to uh, go to the handsaw and make a lot more cuts and assemble this mount. All right, I've got my six inch and a half long piece of PVC pipe neat and I need to assemble this mount. So uh, get my fingers going and assemble this thing. All right, so here's what the almost finished bracket looks like. And it's just gonna sit on top of there like that. 
now I need to cut slits in the top here so I can put a wooden dowel that is on the pole so it can tip up and down. Alrighty, well here she is. She's got the slots drilled in the two top pieces. Now let me explain my thought process. I'm gonna take this wooden dowel and this wooden dowel now sits, oh, sits in there. And then I'm gonna take this pole, drill a hole through it right here so the wooden dowel goes through there and then the pole can sit on the wooden dowel right here. Ah, oh, got a hole. All right guys, it's all coming together now. I got my hole in here. I cut my dowel to about nine inches. Now the dowel is going to go through the rod like this. I'm going to glue this eventually, but here's how it works. I got these slits I cut here. The dowel goes in the slits, so it stays like that. Now, a fish bites, right? Pulls it down. Well, a fish will bite a pull a little harder. And when it gets to here, it rests. And you got a fish on, because it's a tip down, hence the name tip down. And then, when you want to catch the fish, you just grab it, lift it out, now you can fight the fish. And then when you want to reset it, put it back in, reload it, boom. We got ourselves a tip down. Well, I couldn't just make it and not test it out, so we're gonna go into some frozen water and test out my tip down. Well, me and my friend are out here to test out the homemade tip down I made and uh, fingers crossed that it works. It works. The tip down works. Oh. Jeez. There we go. You just freaking doubled the score in like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it took me so long to run over here because I had a fish in the other hole with my other pole. <laughs> but well, hey, the tip down works.